Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Orion's, Orion's, Orion's Animal Tarot, and it has Omni Sun at the bottom here, which I don't know if that's part. I don't know what, exactly what that is. It's just there. So <laughs> if you need that to look up this deck, it's by Rockpool Publishing. Um, dot co. So if you want to search them out. I did see something about a free online deck, but I don't know if that's still going or if that's... I don't know how old this deck is. I didn't see a date on it. So even though it's new to me, I don't know how new it really is. So if you want to check it out, feel free to check it out. Um, Sandra and Taylor, I put your book away again. Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra and Taylor. Taylor are the um, supportive Oracle Cards. There's some websites for them or for her. Hayhouse.com, there's a few different versions of it. There's also a Hay House Radio. Feel free to freeze frame on any of that if you want that information. Okay. Whew. What do we have for cancer? We got a double card coming out. Came out. That's a weird one. They have a fly on one of these cards. It's Judgment. It's just... I don't think of a fly as, like, something I want to see. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. Um, and that could be just me. I don't know. I just... When I see that fly, though, I'm like, what type of judgment is that? Like, <laughs> like what type of judgment is that? Um, it's there. It's on the other side, though. It's coming right next to... These look like... I don't know. They look like puppies, but I don't think so. The ears are too long. These almost look like puppies to me. Um, Six of Cups, there's something here that's been going on for a while. Judgment is coming forward. If I can pick up this card to show you what I'm talking about with this fly. It's just not really... I'm, I'm worried about this. When I see this Judgment card, I'm like, all right, it may be a good thing, but maybe I don't like seeing it. Uh, it may be one of those things. Because that fly, I'm like, ugh. Like, it's so not attractive, in my opinion. <laughs> not attractive. Um... Are you doing okay with this? You guys, see, you're... Are you not liking it or somebody else? That fly, somebody's not going to like how things work out. I don't know if it's going to be you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody's not going to like how this works out. Um, you've got the Three of Pentacles, which is a very dark card, but there's ants here. But I'm getting this kind of like... Um, this might work out better than expected. I'm getting this kind of... Uh, like, this is how this is supposed to work out energy for you. Like, you may look at this like, no, that's how this should play out. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm still not convinced you're going to like it, but it still might might be one of those things kind of like, well, you do that, that's what happens. might be that. You may not like that the whole situation is happening, but no, you're kind of like, well, you do that, that's what happens. Um, Hierophant, you got a lot coming in. A lot of good energy, a lot of things stabilizing for you. Um, I don't think this is going to be bad for you. But I feel like I feel like it's more about I don't like watching it happen. I keep I think that's what it is. I, I'm very I'm centered on that fly. That's true, but I'm also seeing like the ten of swords with the rest and rejuvenate re, rest and rejuvenation, rejuvenation, rejuvenation. I I don't know my I can't speak today. Don't know what it is. Um, I think this is more about watching it though. I don't think you like watching this happen. It doesn't seem like it's wrong, but you don't like watching it happen. I keep getting that. Um, you seem to be fine while this is happening. And I feel like they're saying, yes, let's stay fine. Um, stay over to the side for now. It's playing out the way it needs to play out. I don't see you thinking that's wrong. But again, you don't like watching it happen. But I'm also getting like, maybe you don't need to watch it that closely. Let it play out. Let it go through what it needs to go through. Pull back a little bit. Enjoy what you want to enjoy. Have a good time. Step back from it. Center on other things that are more important to you for now. Um, you got the sun card and the lovers. There's good things going on around you. Whatever, Whoever's going through whatever they're going through, I, I keep getting like, no, that's how that should work out. I don't like watching it, but that's how that should work out. Just pull back. Do other things. Center on what you love. Pull your energy away, especially if it's a work thing. Like, if, if you're at a job where you can listen to earbuds while things are going on, like you, some people have jobs where you just, you're constantly doing things on the computer so you can listen to music while you're doing what you're doing. Some people can do that. I've had jobs like that. That's kind of nice. 
It's also nice if you're allowed to do that because you don't hear the people around you chattering. So if people are talking and chattering and possibly gossiping, probably gossiping, um, you don't even have to know it's happening. You just, yeah, your earbuds in, everything's cool, everything's great. I'm just doing my work and that's all I want to do. Um, are we on, am I on track with this? Because I feel like there's good things around you. It's just not centering on what's not pleasurable. Here, Two of Swords and the Emperor. Um, yeah, because there's nothing you can do with it anyway. There's nothing you can do with it, but if you keep watching it happen and it bothers you, it's going to drive you crazy. Five of Swords with the Seven of Cups. I feel like I just keep thinking about things, I keep wondering, I keep waiting. Worry is wasteful. I think most of us know this. Um, worrying about something doesn't improve it for you or anybody else. If you're going to do something, then do something. But worrying isn't going to work for you or anybody else. It's not going to help. So if you stay away from this situation and distract yourself, that's not abandoning anybody. That's just keeping your energy high and keeping your energy healthy for that way when the moment comes and you can help, you're at optimum level and you can do that. You, you aren't drained and sucked down by the energy to begin with. You've kept yourself away from it. Somebody comes to you and like, hey, Cancer, could you do this for me? You're in a place where you're like, your energy's good, you're healthy, you're happy. Yeah, I could do that for you. I'm good. But if you're sucked in this situation it has been holding you down, somebody's like, hey, Cancer, I, I could really use this. Could you help me with this? You're like, oh, I, I think I can. I think I can do that for you. Because the energy has sucked you down so much. It's just it's so draining. So if you stay away from it, it keeps your energy high, it keeps you healthy. When the moment comes and there is something for you to help here and you want to, of course, if you want to, you don't have to do anything you don't want to, obviously, then you'll be more in a place where you're like, okay, I can do that. That's not a problem. No sweat. Let me just do it and I'll move on. Um, the challenge is to not get mired down by the, the, the problem here. Um, there's a lot of um, mystery also here. Maybe not to you, but to other people. Not everybody understands what's really going on here. You might know. Yeah, see, things are working out the way they're supposed to. The sun and the moon came out, but the sun was kind of like, was like this, it fell out when I didn't flip over to just now. So like the two of these, the sun and the moon together, that's to me a divine pairing. To me, that's a very positive connection, like things working out for the best. Um, things are working out for the best. Things are going a lot, things are gonna go a lot better because of this down the road. But when I see the door to value, I also feel like there's a lot of work that makes this value come in. It's not like just a windfall of money. I feel like whatever it is, is coming forward through hard work, but it's a really good payoff. It, things are going to sort out. Things are going to balance out. Um, this is also something for other people to make their mind up what they want. Um, I'm getting this over here again. <laughs> Three of Swords. Like other, I feel like it's other people. Other people are having judgment on them. Something they've been doing for a long time. It's what they did and what they did they have to pay for. Stuff like that. Um, they made their decisions. They got to do what they got to do. They're having a hard time deciding how they're going to fix this and fix and put it where it's supposed to be so they are struggling to make a decision that's what decision is um but once they do it'll be fine you're not supposed to be a part of making that decision i'm not feeling like you're supposed to be i don't feel like that should be on you um i'm getting the knight of pentacles and wands too here there's also people going left and right there's going to be s false starts false starts I was going to say slow start with the um, the Knight of Pentacles, but no, these two are contradictory. I'm getting false starts. Um, this is another reason you shouldn't be a part of the decision-making process because it keeps changing with that Knight of Wands. When they find what starts to work and makes sense, what's fair works out, and that won't be on you. I don't feel like you need to make the decision. I don't think it's up to you to make the decision. I, f I feel like this is something where it's kind of like, you know, if you have kids, like, uh, like three or four kids that are like you know between 11 and 12 or in that area and you're like they did something they weren't supposed to they made a huge mess and they broke some things this is where you put them in a room and you're like well i'm not sure what we're gonna do but i'll give you you, you guys sit here in and out for an hour and you guys tell me what you think would be fair and then we go from there like see what they think the fair punishment would be you know how to fix this how to make the money back how to pay for the things they did like 
you kind of leave them in the room by it's like it feels like that like keep them off to themselves make them think about what 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 do they think would be fair um it doesn't seem like this has to be a big problem because i feel like they're saying pull back your energy this is the page of swords which is with the is this a cockatiel it's probably a cockatiel i think it's a cockatiel um just see what they're going to choose and reinforce it and go with it. Step out of it for now. Keep your energy away from it. Keep your energy healthy and good. And then when they've made the decision what they want to do, when they've sorted it out and figured out where they actually want to go, because, again, I'm getting there's going to be a lot of false starts, follow them and join them on the correct path when they've stabilized the path. Um, step back and wait to make sure they've stabilized it. Like Give yourself a minute to really soak in what they're doing. Make sure they're going to stick with what they're doing. Um, that's another thing that's going to drain your energy. If you keep helping them start these directions and they keep like, they go like, you know, five miles down this path and like, nope, that's not right. Let's go back. And they go five miles down a different path and like, nope, 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 nope. I don't think that's right. And they, they keep, if, if, if they keep doing that, they're like, they're going to be draining your energy. It's not good. Wait till they decide where they're actually going to go. And they've gone like, we went seven miles down this way. We're, we're all going to go this way. So we came back to get everybody. Let's all go down this path. This We went down seven miles, and we know that this is where we actually want to go. Okay, then join them. Follow them down. Give them time to decide where they're going to actually go. That's another reason to hold back. Pull your energy back. Let them decide what they're going to do. Let them figure out where they're going to stabilize themselves, and then join them at the appropriate time. It does have a really good outcome with the Sun card, so that's a really good outcome. I really do think that's good for you. Um, I feel like the biggest challenge of this is like not watching too closely because you're not going to like it even though it's fair. Stepping yourself back, keeping yourself out of it so you can keep your energy healthy and health, you know, high. I keep saying high for some reason. Um, and then when the appropriate time comes in, pay attention, watch, make sure everything has settled, and then add in and help at that point that way you don't get drained that way you don't get drained you whatever this is it means something to you so you'll definitely participate when necessary but just don't get drained while they're figuring it out that's all all right i think we're good i'm gonna shut this down here i hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email james for astral at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information that's below with the same email thanks again for watching and have a great day